what's up guys welcome back to the channel this is all things pico and in this video i'll be showing you today's uh, store updates so let's get straight to the store on this list i've put these four games and apps that were updated uh, this one is newly announced game and let's start with this uh, the book of distance i just want to say that uh, the discount is no longer active for this game so the price is back to regular so now that we get that one out of the way let's continue with uh, quantar so a newly announced game here we have some screenshots yeah, this one looks nice I've already seen the trailer and it's much fun. Let's check the description. So embark on a journey in Quantar where you act as the observer and summon heroes from different dimensions to engage in thrilling and fast paced battles with each hero poss possessing distinct abilities. Use the core system to enhance their agility, firepower and range and become a master of combat. I won't be reading all of that, so just read the video here and read it yourself. And let's go to additional details. Maybe we have some new info here. So the game is in action and social genres. We have both single player and multiplayer. Then we see that publisher is pumpkin VR and that's about it until the game is released then we will have more info and now uh, these uh, updates let's get uh, with uh, this one first so legendary hunter VR this one is ancient in the store uh, in sense of updates uh, because it was last updated more than eight months ago so somewhere in september last year so let's see what's new now the version is 1.9 uh, from today space required uh, about 250 megabytes and <laughs> in the release notes we just see fixed controller angle and add official support for pico 4 so not what i would expect after eight months of silence but it's better to have it than to have it out of the date so that was legendary hunter let's get to vr room this one also hasn't been updated for more than two months Let's see, the version is uh, 0.2.3 from today, space required uh, about 700 megabytes. And in release notes we see implementation of 360 video options and additional interactions implemented. Okay, so this is a free app, uh, but it doesn't have great review scores, but you can check it out freely. And now it's a good time to remind you to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate that much. So thanks. Then we have uh, Teleport Iceland. This is the demo recently released. And it's already updated. So let's see what's new. The version is uh, 0.7 from today. Space required 1.1 gigabytes. And in release notes we just see minor improvements. So yeah, you can really update it. And the last one is uh, Survival Nation. This one was also left updated more than two months ago. Let's see, version is uh, 1.3.10 from today, space required 1.1 gigabytes and many 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 changes inside the release notes that's good to see 
so much of new added stuff some rebalanced stuff and rebalanced stuff yes but yeah i won't go through all of that just read the video here and check it yourself but this kind of release notes is always great to see so i think i went through all of the games and apps that i had planned to so yeah i did so this is it uh, for this video thanks for watching and also thanks for stopping by and see you in the next one